Hi again everyone, welcome back. So for today, what I'll be doing is I'll be using StatCrunch to make both a histogram and to help me create my frequency distribution table. Okay, so what I'll do first is I'll copy my data over to StatCrunch here. I just want to make sure I have no title. Okay, I'll paste it in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to sort my data. This will help me out when I'm um, um, setting up my histogram. Okay, so I'm going to go into data, sort, and I want to sort this column. It doesn't really matter which way it goes as long as it's in order. Okay, and there is my sorted data. Okay, now what I want to do next is I want to make a histogram. So I'll go into graph, histogram. Okay, now here it doesn't matter which one you pick because it's both the same data, but only pick one. I'll pick the second one there. Okay, next thing I want to do is down here where it says bins, I want to go ahead and uh, fill in that data. Okay, so my lowest value is what I'm going to start at. Now the width, I'll have to calculate. So here I want five classes. And in order to determine the width, I'll have to do the range, which is the largest value uh, minus the smallest value. And uh, the class width will be the range divided by the amount of classes I want. Okay, so let me just see here what my my largest value is. Okay, my largest value is 45. My smallest value is 24. So I'll go ahead and subtract that. Okay, and I'll divide by the amount of classes I have <clears throat> or I want to set up. Okay, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to round up to the next whole number, so my class width will be 5. Okay. That's all we have to do. Everything else is all set up. Click on Compute, and there's my histogram. So what's nice about the histogram is all these numbers you see at the bottom here are the values for the lower limit for each of these classes. Okay, the uh, upper limit will be 1 minus the next lower limit. So this is my next lower limit. I'll go 1 minus that, and that will be my previous upper limit. <clears throat> and from there, I can just keep going. And I'll do 1 from 1 less than this, and that would be my last upper limit. Now, if we put the mouse over each bar, what's nice is it'll tell us the frequency for each of these classes. So you can just mouse over, get the frequencies in, and you're all set. <clears throat> now, what if you need relative frequencies? Well, that's not too hard. So I'll go back in and edit this. And right here under type, if I want relative frequency, I'll just select relative frequency. Okay, and relative frequency comes up as a decimal or a probability. So you'll see it as a number between 0 and 1. Okay. And that's really all there is for histograms. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next TechCrunch video.